Hey everyone, my name is Donald and in this video we're going to be discussing the before and after slider element with the ultimate add-ons for Elementor. This is a very awesome tool because there's a lot of plugins out there right now in the, in the repo that can do this, but either the, A, they haven't been updated in years, or B, you have to use some kind of configuration on their end to then put a short code in the content and you can't preview it as great or at all uh, as you can with this. So here's a few examples of the before and after. You can see that you have this nice handle to grab onto. When you hover over top, you get the before and the after text. So you can go ahead and do that. You also have custom labels that you can do. You can see the two different images here and then also how you handle the 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 um the styling for the handle so you can see that it's yellow now and then of course when you hover over top it automatically goes to where your mouse is so let's go ahead and dive right into this so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and search for before and after slider drag that in here for the before after orientation and comparison handle there's a lot of different options so for the before, we can choose a media source from the media or a URL. And then we can also do the same thing for after. So let's go ahead and choose our before image. And let's choose our after image. So we have that right here that you can see. You can choose the image size for these images. Um, so go ahead and make sure those are the same. And then you can choose the label. So as we hover, you can see the before and the after. So we can choose um, Fusion Soft because that's what it's called, and then uh, Clear Windows. So we have the two different ones here that we can choose from. Orientation: we can have the slider left and right, or we can have the slider up and down. The alignment: we can go ahead and center all of this left, right, or center. So let's go ahead and center that. Uh, move on hover. Right now, if we hover over top of it, this handle does not move. If we go ahead and do that, you can see that it moves on the handle just like this. Then we have our overlay color. So if we don't want an overlay color, we could just go all the way down. And we can do that so that we don't have an overlay color here. So let's go back up here. And let's choose full size for both of these. Orientation, we have that. And then the comparison handle, we can actually change the comparison handle. So the offset, the initial offset, is where you want it to begin. So it'll load here, or you can have it 50% and it'll load there. We have the handle color, so we can change what color we want for the handle. Those are those different options here. And then the handle thickness. So however thick you want those lines to be. Non-existent or really thick. You can choose those. And then we have the circle width. So we can make the circle as wide or as small as we want. And then of course we have the radius so we can do a square um, rounded corners or a circle and then the triangles inside of it we can increase the size of those as well let's see underneath of our style we have the before and after label so we can show the labels on hover only normal or normal and hover so if we have normal and hover we have them both normal only so that it only shows when you're not hovering and when you hover they go away or hover only, so they only appear when you hover over top of the images. The topography for the before and after label, we can increase the font size of these. We want them to be bigger. And then we also have some padding options here, so we can change the padding options for those, for these label settings. And then we have our background color, which we can choose as well. And then, of course, the text color. Uh, we have the alignment, so we could do the top, but we could do it center, or we could do bottom. And then those are our options for the before and after label. So let's go ahead and update this, and let's preview this page. 
So we have this right here, as you can see, just like this. Then we have our labels down here at the bottom. Like we mentioned, we have this, this transparent black background that we added. Then we have these two different um, images that we can show before and after of what it looks like. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, we can't wait to see what you guys come up with for the before and after sliders. Uh, it's a really powerful tool to be able to show a few different options. So you have uh, before and afters, uh, different labels. You can handle the styling so you can see what it looks like before and after a print. You can do that. There's so many different things and you can have so much fun with this. Um, and we, we can't wait to see what you guys come up with. And we will see you guys in the next video. Thanks.